guys, it's Moxie, and as you can see, I'm in my kitchen with paper. You know, I'm really in the mood for painting today. So today, I decided instead of just painting and making a video of it, I'm going to teach you how to paint, because I'm really good. You'll find that out very shortly. I'm going to teach you how to be an artist. I'm going to teach you how to paint different types of art. But the general idea of this video is how to be an artist. The first thing you need is a drink to get you pumped. This is not alcohol. That is not what I mean. I mean iced tea. Not soda either because that's bad for you. So probably like a glass of water or tea or juice. The next thing you'll need is paint, obviously. If you want paint, you gotta have paint. Of course you will need some paper, and let me tell you, get lots of paper that you don't care about and you're okay with throwing away because you mess up a lot. I mean, it's just bound to happen. And so, you know, my family has this like scrap paper bin and so I just took a bunch from there. I mean, I got like random paper like this too for fancy ones, you're not fun. Of course you will need some paintbrushes. Um, I have like two random makeup brushes in here because all of our paintbrushes are dry and gross. Last thing you need is a cup of water. See, red solo cups have um, other good uses in life. So uh, the first type of art I'm going to teach you is modern art. So for modern art, um, you know, in, in modern days everything's really square and stuff, so you need a, a brush that is very flat and square looking for this. Um, and you don't use watercolors because those won't give you a straight line. You want to use um, this kind of paint. You want to... It's okay if it's washable, but you want to use paint that um, is really not watercolored paint is what you want to use. So for modern art, you don't even have to sketch it out. I mean, you can pretty much just go. Um, and basically, as long as your lines are really nice and straight, you're good. So you could use a ruler, but I feel like um, just, you know, kind of going something like that. Yeah, see, this is how you do modern art. But this is the general idea. You just want to make it really simple and make it look like, you know, literally a kindergartner could do this if they took their time. Um, so that's really all it is. So there you have it, modern art. You can go ahead and sell this for like a million dollars. For some reason, that's allowed in the world. Yeah, so um, this, this is obviously quite a masterpiece and it took a really long time to create, so it should be priced really high um, for modern art. What is wrong with the world? These paints smell like a preschool just exploded. Wow, look at the water is orange. You see that? Uh oh. <laughs> so, the next type of art is pointillism, I decided. Um, for pointillism, if you don't know what that is, it's basically you make a lot of frigid dots and then you make a picture out of it. Um, if you want to do your dots faster, I suggest using a bigger brush. So I'm gonna use this here, um, and I'm gonna use watercolors for this. And I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna try to make a pointillism uh, rainbow is what I'm gonna try to do. As you can see, that really looks like a nice cloud. It's actually not bad. This actually looks really cool. Um, huh. Interesting. So yeah, we're just kind of blotting that around. Woo! Yay! That's a cloud, as you can see. Um, and then over here, we're just going to do, like, a cloud a little bit lower. And you know what? Pointillism doesn't have to all be dots, in my opinion. So, uh, to just make this rainbow part a little easier, you can actually just drag the line all the way across. So, you know, and if you don't know the colors of the rainbow, that's really sad, and I'm sorry, but it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, and, you know, there's always a debate if it starts with purple or red. I don't really care either way. So you, you do what you want to do, you know? I am such a professional painter, like, you don't even know. I need some more purple, please. Excuse me. More, not less. Thank you. Alright, so, um, yep. So there is my rainbow. Um, and you probably want to sign it, but 
it, even if it's pointillism, you can sign it without the dots. So I'm gonna um, just go ahead and sign it here. So if you can't read, that says Lady Madness. What does that mean? So. Um, yeah, then I'm gonna like put that brush in there too. So that's how you do pointillism. I actually really want to try something. I want to try uh, ombre, um, ombre painting. Uh, squiggly lines, and you call that rain. It's raining purple squiggly lines. That is it, everyone, and I hope you have a really good rest of your week. Goodbye.